Hello everyone, Scrambles here, and welcome to my very first video ever. Yeah, I decided that I'm going to do a little Let's Play series on one of my favorite games, Star Wars Galaxies. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, Star Wars Galaxies is an old MMO from back in 2003 that eventually got shut down to make way for the Old Republic and due to other reasons uh, like the low player base because they decided to break the game and destroy it for whatever reason they did but we don't need to go into that for now um, but what I'm playing is a version of the game that a group of fans came together and built that emulates what the game was like way back when it was in its prime um, this is the Star Wars Galaxies emulator or the SWG emu and I'm going to create a character on the Basilisk server, and that's what I'm going to be doing my Let's Play on. So let's get to it. Alright. So here are all the species that you can be in this game. Um, you know, you got the generic humans. It gives you a brief description of them. Probably a little bit, you know, backstory on their species and all that fun stuff. You got a little bit of attributes, and then their species features, which is kind of what their species are best at, you know. Um, but let's go through them. So we got, you know, generic human, you know, obviously, looks like some dude. And then we got the Rodian, which is kind of like you know, Greedo from the movies, you know, they got the tentacles, the eyes, and everything. Um, scroll down, you can see they got one-handed and two-handed accuracy, so they're good with, you know, melee weapons. Then we got the Mon Calamari, which is the official, it's a trap species. They will get you. Um, and then we have Bothan which is kind of like a little dog type species. They got camouflage and cover, which makes them decent rangers and everything. Um, and then we got the Wookiees. Everyone knows Wookiees. Look at him. So big, cuts off his forehead. <laughs> Scroll down. Look at that. They got plus one to Wookiee roar. Baller. Um, but yeah, and we got the Twi'leks, which these guys, uh, if you choose them, you, know, you can be male or female with any of these races, by the way. But if you choose these guys, they get an option, you know, you get tattoos on the Leku here. I'm sure you know the tentacles and whatever you want to call them. Um, but yeah, different designs and everything. You can color them, all that stuff. Alright, and then we have the Trandoshan, which is kind of like a big lizard type species. Uh, they're good with unarmed, you know, accuracy, speed, and damage. Look at that. Uh, so if you want to go unarmed, go with these guys if you want. And this is the class that I'm actually going to be playing, the Zabrak. Uh, more or less, I play him kind of as a tribute to my character back on the live servers, because that's what I originally played as. Um, I also do like their defenses against Dizzy, Stun, and Intimidate. Because if you get knocked down because you're too dizzy, you're down for a while. I hate it. And then we have Ithorian, which are these kind of funky looking people. I don't know too much about them, but... Um, yeah, you can be them. They got, you know, decent amount of features and everything. I don't believe that Ithorian or Solistin were originally included in the game. I think they came out later in an update or with the Jump to Light Speed patch. Just because these guys, yeah, engine booster, assembly, stuff like that. These guys got probably pilot? No, shield, something like that. I don't know. Either way, if I'm wrong, correct me, but... I don't believe they were there. But yeah, I'm going to be a Zabrak. Let's get to it. And as you can see, they got a little bit of customization. You know, it's not the best, but you know, you can go in and change the eye size and everything. And it's actually pretty cool. And while I go through making my character look how I want them to look, I'm going to kind of talk a little bit about Star Wars Galaxies and why it was amazing. So... Um, first thing about Star Wars Galaxies is it's an extremely open, you know, sandbox type game. They got ten planets, which are basically ten different sandboxes, ten different sandboxes that you can go to. It's really cool. And in the openness of the game, you're able to create player cities, you know, place player houses and decorate them and everything. So if you got a guild and a bunch of friends and you guys want to go post up somewhere, you guys can create a city, put a guild hall, put a cantina, get it all that stuff in there. Get a shuttle port eventually. It's pretty cool. But, yeah, and when I said earlier that the game is player-driven, 
if I said it earlier. Um, if I didn't, I meant to. Either way, um, most of everything you do is going to require a player to do so. Like, if you need some buffs to go out and fight some hard monsters or something, you're going to want to go to a doctor and get some doctor buffs from him, and then to a dancer and get some dancer and musician buffs from them. Because those will buff your mind. Because, unfortunately, doctors only do your health in action. Which I'll explain those later, because that'll be a part of your ham bars. Uh, health action mind. Go ham. But I'm almost done with making this guy look how I want him to look. I'm just gonna make him real generic for the most part. I don't like how he looks. That's that's weird. I'm gonna give him like jaw and chin. Look like Ed, Eddie, something like that. I'm actually not gonna use a tattoo on this guy, only because I have a tattoo on my main, and it looks like this, right? And I just want a guy without a tattoo. He's going to be kind of plain Jane, you know? Let's go for it. Tattoos. Change his horn color up. Kind of make him generic looking. Because I'm going to turn this guy into a bounty hunter. I don't really care what his face and everything looks like too much. Mainly because I'm going to be wearing a helmet most of the time. But without it, I'll just look like a normal dude with horns. It'll be cool. And yeah, so that's customer characters. Uh, sorry, character customization. Um, once you're done with that, you'll hit next, and it'll go to the starting profession selection, where it'll give you six professions to choose from. It, these six branch off into all the other different uh, professions in the game. You know, you may need a little bit of one and a little bit of another to get one of the higher up ones, but you know, I'll show you guys that later. But let's start off. So we have brawler. This is your basic melee class. Um, you can go unarmed, you can use one-handed weapons, you can use two-handed weapons, and you can use pole arms. And depending on which weapon choice you go, you'll get a certain experience for. And then, you know, one-handed weapons will come, be, become a fencer, two-handed they'll become a swordsman, unarmed, a terrace kasi, um, stuff like that. So, that's the class you'd want to choose if you wanted to go melee. As opposed to the marksman over here, but we'll get to them. Alright, and then this next one, this is an, a good example of how this game throws different playstyles out for different people. So, an entertainer, if you wanted, you could choose this class and never fight anything. Never go out and do anything. Because what these guys do, these are the ones who's, uh, these are the players who dance. These are the players who play music. These are the ones who buff your mind. So these people, they'll be going to a cantina and just kind of hanging out there dancing. It's more or less for the people who want to be social. You can kind of sit there and talk all day while gaining your experience or, you know, making your tips or, you know, buffing people. Doing what you want to do your way, right? It's kind of what Star Wars Galaxies is all about. So, all right. Now we have the Marksman, which is... You know, just your ranged combat character. You start off, you can use rifles, pistols, carbines, and of course, depending on which one you go, you know, determines which experience and which tree you'll gain. If you want to go master marksman, then you got to be good with all different types of weapons, uh, the ranged weapons anyway. So I'm gonna go to the next character here, which is a medic. This is kind of self-explanatory. You can heal, you can um, heal people's wounds, which are different than damage, and I'll explain that later. But Yep, these guys go into doctors or combat medics where, you know, you can do damage and fight and heal, or you can just, you know, solely do healing. Doctors can also buff, you know, enhance people's action and health extreme amounts, you know, so you can go and do fight harder monsters. Kind of mandatory at higher levels. But, oh, didn't skip him. So we got the scout here. Scouts, I've never really made a scout master. I've only kind of dabbled in scout, but these guys, they can create camps, they go out, um, they explore, for the most part, they're the exploring class, they gather resources from monsters, like you'll kill a monster, you can harvest its bone or its hide, or stuff like that, and they'll go on into other classes, you'll need these to become like a creature handler, you'll need to go out and get creature knowledge to be able to tame creatures, and all that fun stuff. Oop. Alright, and then we have the Artisan. This is basic crafting. 
take this guy, you can become a weapon smith, armor smith, an architect, build houses, build speeder bikes, all that type of stuff. She takes a lot of crafting. But I am going to choose marksman, because I'm going to make this character a bounty hunter. So you look at him, bald with horns, he's like, what up? Alright, and if, if you see, you can click generate a name. And this will generate a name that is somewhat uh, unique to your species. Um, you know, if you have a different species, it'll look different, so it kind of matches their style, I guess. I don't know. And down here, we have a little character biography where you can leave a little backstory for your character or just some general information if you want people to know where your house is or something like that. Um, and this is viewable by other players if they choose to examine your character. Uh, it'll pop up with your badges, a little model of your character like this they can rotate, and then it'll show your bio. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna put this something simple for like, thank you for watching, smiley face. And I am going to name my character and let's get going. So Curly Jefferson. All right, and up here you can see, you know, novice marksman, and then the attributes your character is going to have once you get into the game. So let me go ahead and click next, and let's get on our way. All right, so after creating your character, you will see that um, you're in a small room. You know, pops this up. You can't. You know, you can only create a character every 24 hours. Attempting to create other characters, you know, won't let you do it. So, um, the controls are going to be really weird at first. You know, you're going to want to remap those most definitely. Um, I'm not going to do that in the video, however, because that can take you know up to like 20 minutes. Uh, you know, a little bit longer too if you want to go crazy. But I'm going to do it quick. Um, I'm just going to show you what you do in here and what to do to get to your starting planet yeah so you will walk up to this terminal here and double click it what that'll do is it'll bring up all the starting locations now there's three different planets you can start on we have Tatooine Naboo and Corellia each of which has three different cities you can choose to start in Tatooine has Mos Eisley, Bestine and Mos Espa. The other ones have others. Um, doesn't you know? I must choose to start on Tatooine. But there are also faction starting zones, where you can choose to start in a city that is more heavily influenced by that faction. It doesn't mean you'll start out as that faction. In fact, all players start neutral. Really, um, you just kind of gain points and become that faction later. Uh, I'll be showing that off too later. But um. For now, let me just go ahead and select Moss Eisley, because that's one of the more populated cities on the emulator right now. So once you come here, you select your starting zone, you can hit next. What that'll do is it'll pull up, you know, a nice little loading screen. And it'll start to load your character. Alright. And here we are. We are in Moss Eisley, right outside the starport. And this feels like it'll be a good spot to end the first episode. Um, I'll come back in the next episode showing you a little bit more of the basics. I'll show you some combat, uh, you know, the skill system, some of the menus, you know, changing that. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and see you guys in the next episode.